So it looks good. Nice views, height, that's what you want. Why does a Scotsman shoot a movie in Basque? Yeah, it's pretty weird. Um, I mean, basically it was something that happened really naturally. Um, my partner, who is the producer of the film, is from the Basque country. It just, it was something that was really kind of organic and it just snowballed. And then before we knew it, we were, we were shooting the film. I mean, do you speak Basque now? Well, I speak a little bit of Basque, but I, I understand quite a bit. Yeah. Um, but what I did was I learned the script in Basque. How did you organize yourself or the team during the post-production? We had an 18 day shoot, so it was really tight. Um, and then we had a four week edit. Ended up getting a bit more delayed than, than we wanted. Um, but we then managed to, basically we pulled a work in progress together to send to San Sebastian. That's the main thing is you're using the central perspective. Was it like clear for you to use this or is it, is it your style? I see everything in, in flat perspective, almost, almost everything. Um, you know, sometimes I'll use an, an angle if it's like, um, especially for faces, um, but also for kind of super wides. But yeah, I mean, flat perspective for me is like, it's just a stylistic choice. Can we do something? Yes. We have a camera here. Yeah. And we would love to have a, like a central perspective of you. Yeah. <laughs> like rearranging this camera, how you would do it. It's quite a difficult one. You're probably sitting here and then use the headspace above. And then I would take this out as well. See, I, I would spend hours doing this. Right. Okay, that'll do, that'll do. Now we can sit here. And then I could do this. <laughs> <laughs> Now, we would love to go with you to the Zurich Picadero. Cool. If you're in. I'm in, let's do it. Uh, no, fortunately, we never, uh, we never needed a Picadero. I don't know. I think being from, uh, being from the UK, I don't know. <laughs> How, we, we don't go for Picadero's as much. What makes a good Picadero for you? you you got to have good views. It's got to be quiet. Wide open space is good as well. I think that's, I think that's good. The Picadero that we used is an actual Picadero and it's kind of gross. There was actually like, you go there and there's like, tissues and used condoms and like stuff up there so yeah yeah we were going for the, the realism